what are you learning from these individuals that might be applied to a business leader, business owner in today's world? Because with the great resignation, the whole hiring formula has changed. The, The retaining of employees has changed. What lessons could you pick up or have you learned from these individuals that perhaps a business owner or a business leader can apply now looking at their own business? So I'll share some lessons that I've just learned in general that I think are really relevant today. Uh, one is when, when I was board chair of, of Big Brothers Big Sisters, uh, we were going through a rough economic period and we knew we would have to have layoffs. And the CEO told me, she said, all right, well, we know we're going to have layoffs. We don't know who it is, but I'm going to tell the staff because they should know what's going on. And I remember telling her saying, Mo, I'm concerned. Like we should figure out who's getting laid off or else everyone's going to try to find new jobs. You know, there's going to be all this panic. And she said, we're not going to be able to figure that out for a while. And I need to be honest with my people. And she was the CEO. I was the board chair. So I said, if that's how you feel, you should do that. And thank heaven she did that. The way the company pulled together and said, all right, well, let's figure out how we could make it better. Uh, Even though we thought people didn't know, they knew that things were tough. And when they didn't know exactly what was going to happen, everyone tends to think the worst is going to happen. So by being really honest with your workforce and saying, here's where we are, it's a difficult situation. We're trying to get through it. It got everyone to chip in. And since then, I've shared that lesson and seen other entrepreneurs do that. And I remember it's so often when I was an entrepreneur and things were tough, I wanted to shield my employees. I didn't want to get people nervous. Uh, I think that's the wrong approach. I think we should be really open with what's going on. That is what people expect. And we should care most about getting the work done. It doesn't matter, especially with the younger generation, it doesn't matter where they're working from in many cases. And of course it does if you have a retail store, but for many jobs, it doesn't matter where they're working from. It doesn't matter kind of which hours they're working all the time. What matters is I need to get this done and you need to do it. And I think employees today want that freedom to be able to like get the job done and not have to come into work every day uh, necessarily, but be able to work from home. And they also want to feel like they're a part of the team and a part of thinking about the company as a whole. They want to know, how does what I do fit into the entire company's success? What's my role? What's my purpose? And I think we as entrepreneurs need to spend time thinking about how we share our vision with our employees, how we get their input to help shape that vision, and how we tie what they're doing, even at the lowest levels in our company, to our company's success. 